Okay, so here's the script all finished. I've got the Arduino here, the relays, the servos now are um, connected, uh, transmitter obviously, and this is the contraption that's going to go in the bow. It's all working pretty well right now, and you can see the levers and how they've changed. I've got these now working pretty darn well. That's the um, that gives me the kind of movement that I need for the servo for the for the hydroplanes. Got nice movement on that, and the retract function is pretty nice. I've had to dig a huge hole in these, as you can see, to mount the uh, cups and the um, linkages. Now what I've needed to do is further adjustment to get these to move more freely. And I've done this by using the Dremel and making a bit more clearance. I found that something was binding. This is interesting because you can actually see the lateral movement on the um, retract mechanism when the servo is moving and that that was causing some trouble for me it was causing it all to bind now I've got th these holes that this is going through are actually far too big and I will fix this in time but this is the system there the hydroplanes now moving really freely very very nice that's the closing moment um, it's faster than it will be in reality um, because I've stepped up the code to make it quicker out they come. And there we have very free movement of the hydroplanes. I'm really happy. It took a long time to get to this point. A lot of fiddling and a lot of playing. So here we have them in how they're going to look. And I've got to say that looks bloody amazing. Very happy with that. And now this is the closing moment at the speed that it's going to be in reality. Pretty happy with that too. And now everything's dead. Everything's switched off. Exactly what we want. That speed is actually very similar to the real speed of the real thing. I like that. Very satisfying moment. That's, this has taken a lot of work to get to this point. I've got to do it again. It's so sexy. And this is the bow view. A bit higher than the bow, but never mind. And as you can see, it's not much different. Very exciting. That'll pull the boat down and surface the boat nicely. <sighs> Hi there. Bit of a recap. So we've got the bow planes on this running properly now, and you've just quickly seen a little demonstration of how they work. What I've now done though is I've taken the uh, submarine software on the, the script for the submarine, for the U-boat actually, and I have wired it all up right here with the uh, relays and so on, just like it works on the submarine. I now have the pressure gauge here going into the bottle, I think you've seen that before, and first time works perfectly, just great. So now what I'm going to do is use um, a couple of other little spare spots on the um, on the Arduino pins and I'm going to add the retract servo because this little one here is acting as the, it's a tiny servo, is acting as the um, bow planes. So I'm going to add an, an extra and then put the software for the, um, uh, the bow planes, one that you've just seen, into this, which will basically then just operate the two, um, the two remaining um, uh, relays on that 8-bank relay and just see if I can get that working. If I can do that, 
The next step is to get into the into the sketches, the two sketches, and start to combine them so that in fact the whole thing will work with a brand new uh, sketch. So that's where we're up to. Um, okay. I'm not looking forward to that. That's going to be quite hard. And we'll see how we go. It's going to be a few bit of trial and error involved in merging those two software packages. But first of all, we'll have a look at the submarine one. Just and if you haven't seen it before, this is how it works. So what I've got here is um, the uh, transmitter. I've got the computer on, and that's powering up the nano. I'll now just put the power onto the system which powers up the um, uh, the radio and all of those bits and pieces. I'll turn the receiver on. You should never do it that way, but I just did it there. Okay, and now I'll just press the reset button on the Arduino so it boots up again. And that's it. So what we're finding now, oh, that's it, is that's the little, you can see that, I think, the little servo working. The little light that's on there is the power to that servo. That's part of the script because when uh, I boot up, that doesn't. That only comes on at the end. Now let me just see. This is the piston. Ah, that's it. Piston that way. Yep. Pump. Yep. Pump. Trim tanks. Yep. That's all working. I could do a do a routine, but I know that they're all working. But here's the hydroplane working nicely. Here's the uh, tube measuring pressure. If I just pull the knob this way now and push it forward, it's taken a snapshot of that pressure and I'll put it on automatic. And now you can see this wobbling a little bit, but when I raise it, it's bringing the boat down. And when I push it down, it's bringing the boat back up. And if I leave it down, waiting. Hmm. Oh, there it is. You see the piston coming on and off. And that's because it's working out that the boat's too deep and the piston is every eight seconds coming on for one second just to bring it back. It's just that little minor adjustment. And the servo now takes over. So that will be, it's a bit wobbly, but that's fine. And that will hold the boat at the depth I want. I'll turn it off automatic and we're back on manual control. Pretty good. Alright, so what I've done now is I have, I'm just resetting that, I've just wired up um, this servo into the circuit um, and it's designed to be complementary. So I, I made sure that when I designed this script it used a pin that the current system doesn't use and now I've uploaded the script just for the servos. So everything else now is uh, not relevant. And you can see here that's the hydroplane. That's working. That means that the hydroplanes are out and working. Now when I turn this over to one side, the hydroplanes have stopped working and it's closing. Until it reaches the spot and it's all turned off. And it's using those two uh, relays at the end. So now I'll turn it off again. That relay is on, meaning it's powering up the servo, it's opening it up, and they will then change because that's not working. That's it. Now I've got a servo. That's it. All I've got to do now is combine this script with the other script and make it one. That'll be interesting. Right, this has taken about um, three quarters of an hour. I'll just reset the Arduino. And that's it, it's loaded. Whoops. And what you can see is there's the hydroplane working nicely. Everything's working as it should. There's the rudder. If I take a snapshot of the depth and put it on auto, it's all working. That's very good. Now, let's retract the servos. 
that's turning, it's going faster than it needs to, and it's turned the hydroplane off. And now I put it back. Everything's working. I've got it. I've just made that five times faster than it needs to be, just so that it's easy for demonstration. But we've got... That's exactly right.